Do you nerd for Marvel movies? Ten years worth of Marvel movies? That's because... We're more than fans. So, it is time for a Marvel Collector Core. Ba, ba, ba. And it's a good thing we have our Marvel yes. shirts on because this is. It is Marvel Collector Core's Marvel Studios' first 10 years box. Ooh. And that is a big box. It is a big box. Well, like, 10 years. Yeah, there's, have a there's lot of 10 years of stuff in here. <laughs> All right. So, that's the theme, right? That that's is the first the theme. 10 years. Well, let's see what's inside. Yeah. All right, so, uh, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, eight. Out of all these movies, what's your favorite? Uh, <laughs> no, no, turn around, let me see. Ah, which, which is it gonna be? I don't know, Guardians or Thor? Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 when you start to think about it, yeah, it's at hard first to it's it real down. easy. It's like, oh man, you know, you know, the first Iron Man, I mean, you start to, well, of course, that could... soundtrack for Guardians, although the fun of Thor Ragnarok and, and oh, the heist of Ant-Man. and Yeah. <laughs> I could probably say Guardians of the Galaxy is probably my favorite movie of all of them, but then, like, I would have to, I have to narrow it down to characters, you know, Scarlet that, Witch is my favorite That character. sounds like a whole other video. Yeah. So, yeah. so let's let's dig into this box and we'll, we'll yeah. just call it Guardian. So <laughs> first off, we have a Funko Pop Pez dispenser. Okay. And it is Gold Hulk. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. You know what? That would take a lot of gold to cover the Hulk. That would take a lot, and it is a Marvel exclusive. So, whoops. There he is in all of his gold glory. <laughs> nice. With his little mohawk <laughs> helmet and everything. That's pretty great. Hulk Piz. Piz Hulk. <laughs> you know, I don't like Pez candy. I love Pez dispensers. They're cute and clever. And I have quite a collection of them. But I just don't like the candy. It's weird. <laughs> Wait, do you like the candy? Uh, I'm impartial. Impartial? To Pez. Mm. Okay. Then we have a pint size hero mystery Funko. Okay, these are always fun. Yep, and there's two of them in there. Nice. So let's see what we've got inside of them. We have. Hey, that goes along with your. Uh, Who's that? It's with gold. Your Pez. Who's that? Is that a gold Hulk? It kind of looks. Is that Hulk? No, that's not Hulk. He's got a helmet on. This Hulk has a helmet. Oh, is it Thanos? Yeah, it's a gold Thanos. Gold Thanos? It's gold Thanos. So I had my, my gold big guys. Wow. Yeah. Stuff. You got gold and gold. All right, let's see who's in the next one. Oh, I got gold Thor. <laughs> nice. <laughs> his little swords. <laughs> Thor swords. Thor, Thor. His, his swords are Thor. They're weird gold. I don't know if I like them gold. I don't think you like them because it's harder to identify I know, they're them. weird. Anyway, alright. Now, the reason this box... Cut you with my knives, Thanos. The reason the box was so big is because we have a giant Holy Funko geez. in here of Iron Man 2. Or was it 3? That's 2, two with Whiplash. Yeah, was yeah. 2 with Whiplash. Oh man, if you're gonna give me a movie moment from Iron Man 2, you're giving me Whiplash and not Black Widow. Let's open it up and look, because I think it's broken. Alright, so you got it out of the box, and this thing is like shattered super trash. <laughs> which is what funny because happened? I have no idea. Which is funny because, I mean, it was in its box and it was in this thing. Yeah, that's weird. But, like, <laughs> they were loose in there. His yeah. feet are... I could tell when, it was, when I was pulling it out before I opened it because this was flopping around in there. So <laughs> Iron Man is broken off of his feet. <laughs> now, the thing is, it doesn't look like the feet... No, would have they're come not off. supposed like, to come They were off. permanently on the base. Yeah. Cause... And I think that was a bad move yeah. because... Like, they're all broken yeah, at their feet. 
He's got one foot on, and the other foot's still attached. Oh my gosh. And his, yeah, his little whiplashy thingy. Oh, jeez. Like I said, I saw this flowing around on the floor in there. And this is supposed to be attached to this hand. Oh, oh my gosh, so it's broken there, too. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I will say, we've typically been pretty fortunate with stuff that gets shipped to us and not being yeah. broken, but... Yeah, I really think that with it being permanently yeah. attached to the Which base. Which I've never had that like that. I've gotten some big ones like this, and they've never really been permanently attached. They kind of pegged exactly. in. Exactly. And I think if that so, were the case, you yeah. know, and like have, like not even have them pegged into the base if they would have had mm -hmm. it to where you could peg them to the base, but then not actually attached. But, you know, we can kind of... That stinks. I, I'm definitely going to ask Nerdlings if anybody else gets the Marble Collector Core Box. Did you get this one or one like this, and did you have any problems? <laughs> I kind of see what it would have looked like. And then imagine this other little zapper in here. <laughs> so, okay. It was this, cool. It, inside the box, it was cool. <laughs> at this point, do you think that you're probably going to contact them I'm going to contact this? Amazon because... It might have gotten dropped in the factory and shipping or whatever because I mean there is no padding inside the box. Right. It was just the, in the, the plastic in the box around. and then in this box. And the only thing that was in there that was kind of bulky was this. Yeah. And that's I mean so it's not the best padding. And this is the first time I've ever had anything broken. So and I mean this is major. <laughs> well, we'll definitely have to uh, try to remember to let you guys know what kind of follow-up we get when we contact them about yeah. this and uh so keep an eye out on you know facebook and twitter and everything and, and we'll try to let you know if we hear anything back and in all honesty i'm just contacting them more about of a courtesy and hoping that they'll replace it because i'm not so much into my collection that i want to keep it in pristine condition and sell it later because the way that it broke i could glue it back together and be fine with that you know in all honesty because i'm not that picky well despite but, it being broke what do you think of funko pops with like the base you know there being a little more than just the pops figures themselves i kind of like that um because it's becoming a new trend i've noticed i think because they've kind of reached the end of what do we do with the individual funkos they've been doing scenes now and so there's been some really fun scenes space is also an issue with them that, that's because i take mine out of the box that. like if i was one of those people who left it in the box this the size of this box is basically like the size of two Funko boxes. So it would just take up two Funko box bases and then you could put two on top of it. Right, you could just So stack if you them. left it in the box, it wouldn't be as much of a space issue because you can still stack, but since I take mine out, it does kind of make a stacking issue because you can't stack them on each other. And, and it does take up space even more than just two Funko, as you can see here. Right. I could probably, I would be able to get a third Funko there on the shelf next to the <laughs> little ones definitely yeah, especially the little guys well moving on so is that it of the box that then? is it of the box and okay there's nothing to do with the box okay so what do you think of uh how do they do with this box? i'm actually really disappointed in this box to be honest um i was actually really really excited about this one because you know marvel first 10 years there's a lot they can do there with that uh, yeah. <laughs> you know there's a lot of movie they can do with that and I don't, I, first of all, I was not that big a fan of Iron Man 2. It was a fine movie, but I really don't like Mickey Rourke. <laughs> and I, his character was eh to me. I, I don't have much experience with the real, what's his name, Whiplash. So I don't know how well he did with the character, but I'm just not a fan of that actor. So to get a giant, even broken <laughs> Funko of that, I was, it's one of those things, it's like, really, that's what you went with? And then, you know, the gold Pez and then two gold individual little guys. Again, I'm not, I feel like this is very lacking. Yes. There's not a whole lot going on here. And I know this is a big Funko diorama thing, but it's like, I have, I'm very, very disappointed. I have to agree. Um, just like you said, with Marvel, the theme being the Marvel Cinematic Universe, 10 years of Marvel movies, with so many movies to choose from and to very, very barely scratch the surface of that. I mean, let's face it, you know, I've got you've, got, and two gold, you've gold got two guys. things uh, representing Thor Ragnarok 
uh, Infinity War, and then Iron Man 2. Yeah. Out of all the movies, and that's that's all that you get. Not to mention, I am not typically a fan of when they put the, uh, the little blind bags and stuff like that in there, because since I see those everywhere out and about, it's not as fun for me to get stuff like that in a mystery box, because it's like, I, yeah. I can buy these anytime I want. Well, the other... Put stuff in the box that I can't easily find. The other thing is, is looking at the card, um... There were you own it was a Marvel exclusive gold Thanos and gold Thor. So oh, so it's not even it's not mystery. even a mystery thing. Well, yeah, that's kind of boring. Yeah, so I mean, like it was really and, and the it, same with Hulk. Same Pez? with Hulk, a gold Hulk Pez. Wow. And it's one of those things. It's like you know when Amazon. Oops, there goes the box. <laughs> when Amazon took over for Marvel Crate or uh, Funko, I was nervous about it and Deadpool was the first theme and I got that crate because I love Deadpool and I wanted to see what Marvel did with it. I liked that crate. I thought they did a great job and I liked everything that was in it and it was a good variety of Deadpool stuff. I'm not a big fan of Venom. He's fine. but I So I opted out of getting the Venom crate which was the very next crate. And then this one popped up as the very next crate after Venom and so I was like, oh this will be awesome. I'm super excited. And I'm very, very let down. And it has nothing to do with the broken piece. Because that just, that you know, that happens. Things happen. But I'm just let down with this one. And I was kind of getting excited next month, or in two, the next crate's theme is X-Men. So I was like, oh, yay, X-Men. So two good ones in a row. Now I'm kind of, I'm yeah, a little gun shy. Yeah, after this, it makes you a little nervous. I'm a little gun shy about it. So, yeah, uh, blind bags that they already knew what was going to be in there and they sent everyone the same. And being gold. Pez, and... the same thing. And then a big Funko set, which, you know, I mean, you really got to be a fan of the movie to really appreciate that. Otherwise, it's very hit or miss. And with so many different movies to choose from, it's a lot easier to miss the mark than hit yeah. it with that. Yeah. Um, and such a big box. I mean, you know, again, I'm not such a fan of these, but I think I would have liked to have seen a lot more smaller things than a bigger item mm -hmm. to represent more of all of the movies. Yeah, don't do one giant Funko. Do, you know, two Funko and have them from completely different franchises. So, the question is, you've already said that you're interested in the X-Men one. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're going to stick with it and give it a chance? I think I will. Even after this. I okay. think I will. The other thing that I was going to say is, I have never been a fan of when they do exclusives that are a different color. Yeah, so I don't like the gold at all. So to me, it's not cool that I have gold ones. I, I hated the gold Mario and the gold Mega Man yeah. because it was the same <laughs> daggum to or amiibo, just painted gold or painted silver. So it's like, I'm not a fan of those. And I, I don't mean to sound as negative as I am on this one or as down on it. As I'm just kind of disappointed. They, it, it was a very disappointing box. So uh, basically, we're just going to have to wait and see two yeah. months from now yeah. and see how they do with X-Men. Mm -hmm. And then do you think at that point you may decide whether or not you want to continue on with the collector Yeah, because core? like I said, they got me very excited with their very first one, Deadpool, which I mean, obviously that's kind of what you do. You're very first out the gate. You want to do a good crate. And, you know, I don't know what was in the Venom one. So I don't know. All right. Well, nerdlings, Definitely let us know if you got the crate, what you thought of it, but also we'd love to hear what you thought of this one. Yeah. Maybe you have a different opinion and you think that they did an all right job. Uh, maybe you're a bigger fan of Iron Man too, so this would have been very awesome to have. Yeah. You know, non-broken. Uh, <laughs> maybe you like the color variants on things. Please let us know what you think about that. Where do you stand on those? And uh, otherwise... Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Leave those comments down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And that notification bell lets you know that uh, here's a new video up. They're always going up. We always got stuff going yes. on. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram because we always like to throw up those closer upper pictures. Let you know what we're doing out in the real world. And if YouTube has not let you know that a video has dropped, we always let you know over there on those guys that a video has dropped. So um, other than, you know... Letting us know what you think. Don't forget, we've got merchandise over at Tee Public. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> Plugity plug plug. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we don't have any gold variants on the stuff. So. No, we just have pretty pictures. All right. Well, looks like we've got some super gluing to do. Yeah. Fortunately, we have some Pez to get us by. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. <laughs>